Okay, I'm on my way to my first doctor's appointment. Um, my first, I think they're called prenatal appointments or I don't know, maternity appointments. I've had two babies and I still don't know what they're called. <laughs> uh, I'm really excited. I'm excited to get the ultrasound. They do ultrasounds at this doctor's office. They do ultrasounds at your first visit. Um, but yeah, so I'm really excited. I'm going by myself, so that's kind of a bummer. I don't know, I kind of wish Zach would have been able to be here. Um, he's out of town for work, so he couldn't be here. Um, I haven't told anybody else yet, except for a couple friends, so um, yeah, I'm just going by myself, so we'll see, I hope it goes well. I know it will, I'm not like nervous or anything, but I'm excited. Looks like there's just one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So that's about it for this appointment. It was just a quick and fun ultrasound. We got to see our little baby baby. I'm so excited. Don't know if it's a boy or girl yet. But I think we'll find out next time because I actually set up the appointment for another ultrasound um, for my next appointment in four weeks because I had, I don't know what it's called, but there was like, within the sack near the baby, there was a little um, patch of blood that they saw. Um, so anyway, they just wanted to be checking on that the next time. It shouldn't be any big deal. Um, but, lucky me, they scheduled another ultrasound for the next appointment. And this actually happened with Piper too. She had something on her brain, like a cyst on her, on her brain when it was developing. So we gotta have an ultrasound like every single time and it was the best. I mean, it was scary because things like that are scary. But with both of these situations, it's, it's something that is normal and usually goes away. So even though I would rather have like no complications or, or anything um, scary like this, it is, a perk is that we get to have an ultrasound every time. Maybe Zach will be able to come with me to this one. But at this, and also with that, I'll be, um, ugh, I think I'll only be like 14 or 15 weeks, but we might be able to see the gender at the next one. And I think I actually am going to um, find out the gender even though we have a boy and a girl and it'd be fun to like wait, I kind of like spreading out the surprises with baby because it's such a long wait until they get here. <sighs> anyway, it was super fun. I mean, as fun as it can be, but when you're an expectant mother, it's just a miracle and it's exciting and it's it's wonderful. So I, I'm really excited and I feel so blessed to just be able to have, I'm gonna get like emotional. I'm just, I feel so blessed to be able to be a woman and to be able to have babies and um, get to enjoy this part of being a woman. And I know there's lots of women out there who don't get to have this opportunity and so I really just cherish it and I and and I feel really really blessed and I know it is just a huge huge blessing from from God that that I'm able to be a part of this wonderful experience anyway I didn't mean for it to go this way but this is how it went I got to go pick up the kids now I love it oh can I show you guys the ultrasound pictures so cute guys that little baby is inside my body and it is using my body to grow. So awesome. I can't believe it. <sighs> okay, that really is the end. We'll see you guys at our next visit. Bye! Times have hooked up to my laptop, or else my laptop does not turn on and work. Here I'm going to undo the monitor.